Hello YouTube, friends are important here doing a top 10 countdown the best side deck cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Number 10! Light Imprisoning Mirror. It's like basically just generally a really good card. I mean, it's just number 10 because there's not that many light decks right now, but there's Agents, there's... What else is there that's light? Okay, well Agents are fun. So. <laughs> that's about it! <laughs> Number nine. Nova Men of Cross Out. There's a lot of like decks running like Ryko right now and Geargias that set Geargia armor and there's a lot of cards that just set a monster or a lot of decks that just set a monster and end, so What's it do? Have a lot of problems. Banishes a face down monster. And if it's a flip effect, it's all banished. <laughs> Number eight. Royal Decree. It's kind of self-explanatory. There's a lot of decks like Final Countdown that run all traps and back row rabbits that set five traps, basically. And then there's just a lot of decks that are trap heavy and this really hurts them. Number seven. Thunder King Ryo. There's just a lot of decks that add from the deck to the hand and it's just a really good um, card to stop searching. In general, it's just pretty good. and It locks down certain decks like Spellbooks and Gear Gia's again. Maybe Windups. Number 6! Mystical Space Typhoon. Ooh, well, so shiny! <laughs> mostly you just run two and then you side the third one against decks like rabbits again you side all three or you run all three or you side the third one if you're running a deck that you don't want them to side macrocosmos against and stuff like that now moving on to the top five number five effect veiler there's in general a lot of decks like insectors rabbits um how many times have you said that? <laughs> Brotherhoods, I don't know. There's a lot of decks where you can side effect Veiler. You can even like run effect Veiler, but we just put it in the side because not as many people are doing it lately. Number four! Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of basic. There's a lot of decks out there that are just running all dark monsters, such as like Dark Worlds, um... There's just like chaos decks and things like that where you can side it. And insectors. Insectors too. But in general, it's just really good. Number three. Soul Taker. There's a lot of decks like chaos dragons, heroes, and things like dino rabbits that just sit on a big monster and it helps just get over like get over problem monsters. And then there's like fairies with like Christia and stuff like that. I almost want to put this card in the main deck because there's so many car decks that it works against and it makes um, Light Pulsar and things like The Shining when they're sent from the field to the grave it makes them miss their timing because of the life, the life point gain happens at the same time as the monster gets sent to the graveyard so it stops certain effects too. Number 2 Max C <laughs> There's just so many decks you can side this against. A lot of decks have to have first turn plays that go off and they um and they really do need this card or people really do need this card to s stop certain plays like a wind up play and um it just really helps against certain decks and like people that run tour guide and stuff like that and finally the moment we've all been waiting for number one macro cosmos newbie <laughs> There's just so I don't I can't even really name all the decks that this hurts. It hurts so many decks right now, and a lot of people are even main decking this card. But generally, it's sided. It hurts in Zactors, Dark Worlds, Chaos Dragons, Agents. Any kind um, of chaos build. Any kind of chaos. Light Swarms. Just it just hurts like half the decks that are out there right now, like Mermails especially, and stuff like that. The only thing it doesn't hurt is Infinity Tyranno. It helps him. Don't do it. It's a trap. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.